Adding and subtracting monomials is one of those skills in algebra that once you understand it, you're going to be able to do a lot more things. It's a foundational skill. So we're gonna start by defining the vocabulary, and then my hint to you would be to get several different color of highlighters ready, because that might help you when you're trying to combine like terms. Let's first define the term space, exponent, and monomial. In an exponent, the base is the number being raised to a power. So for example, in five to the x power, the five is the base. Exponent then is the small number that tells you how many times the base should be multiplied by itself. So for example, if I have x to the fifth power, that little number tells me that I'm going to multiply x by itself five times. So x times x times x times x times x. And last, monomial is one term. A monomial can be a number like five. It can be a variable like x, or it could be the product of a number and a variable, like 6x squared. Now a key point is that you can only add and subtract monomials if they have the same variable raised to the same power. Once we get into the examples, I will dive into that a little bit deeper. If they do have the same variable and it's raised to the same power, you're going to add or subtract the coefficients and leave the variable or exponent alone. This is how we combine like terms. So just to clarify, in my previous example of 6x squared, we already said that the base was the number that was being raised to a power. So x is the base. It's also a variable because it's a letter. Squared is the exponent. The whole thing is a monomial, and 6 is the coefficient, so that tells us how many x squareds that we have. So here's where your highlighters will come in handy. I want us to highlight each individual term, okay? So in our first example, 6m squared plus 4m squared. Do they have the same variable raised to the same power? This is an m raised to the second power, and an m raised to the second power. Yes, they meet the criteria. So I want you to think of an m squared as literally a square with a side of m and a side of m. Okay, so there's my m squared, and here's my m squared. So 6m squared, that's my first term, plus 4m squared, that's my second. So I have 6 and 4 all together, that gives me 10 m squared. If you, it helps you to draw a picture, then do that so that you can figure out where that 10 came from. In the next example, I have negative 2p. So my variable is p, and that's p raised to the first power, even though that's not written there. We know that that's raised to the first power. And then we have plus 5p, so that's the same variable, same exponent, so you're just going to combine like terms, combine those coefficients, negative two plus five gives us three P. Number three, I have six Y plus three Y. There's my three, same variable, raised to the first power, plus six is nine Y. Okay, on number four, I have six R and then I have 6r squared. Okay, so here I have an r and an r, but this is r to the first power, this is r to the second power, so can it be simplified? No, it's already in simplest form, so we can't simplify it anymore. On number five, we have a similar situation. We have 14x squared, 
and then we have a 14x cubed. Okay, so if I were to draw this as a picture, my x squared would literally be a square, x times x, but x cubed, here's my x cubed, x times x times x. So I can't combine those because I can't combine squares with cubes. So this one is already in simplest form. You can't simplify it anymore. Number six, 10r to the third minus 16r to the third. So notice this time I have r to the third and r to the third. Notice I'm saying 10r to the third minus 16r to the third, but that's the same thing as combining a 10 and negative 16. So 10 minus 16 is negative 6 r to the third power. Okay, number seven, I have negative eight C and then negative nine C squared. Okay, so if I were to draw this as a picture, C would just be like a single line and C squared would be C times C. Can I combine those two together? A line and a square? No. So that's already in simplest form. And number eight, 2m squared and negative 5n squared. Those are the same, m squared. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3m squared. So again, color coding your terms can help you to know when you are combining like terms and when an expression is already in simplest form.